Hello, welcome to Road CC and our bamboo bike build. And our bamboo bike build is complete. This is the bike, I've ridden it out here. We're in the Mendips. Um, I've just done 25K on it. And as you can see, it is, it is a whole bike. I'm as amazed as you. It was fairly straightforward, really. Um, there was a few issues. Um, the back brake at the moment is largely ornamental on account of the uh, brake bridge is a little bit too high. I've got a, a long drop caliper on order there. Uh, it took a little while to get the headset in and a little bit of Dremel work to make the holes big enough for it. But generally speaking, everything's fitted pretty well. Um, there's not a lot of space in the rear for a big tire. So I've got a 23mm tire in there and I've had to dish the wheel slightly towards the non-drive side just to get it centrally in the um, in the chain stays. But really, it's been fairly straightforward. And what we've ended up with is this bike here. So let me talk you around what I've got. I have got a single chain ring at the front. Now the reason for that is because originally I built this bike up because I was gonna go and do a race in it and if I'm going to go and do a race in it, I'm only going to need with a one ring, so that's fine. But also, it's it's quite a complicated business to fit a front derailleur to a bamboo bike because obviously you don't have um, a standard sized tube and it isn't round, so you have to actually screw in the uh, derailleur. You have to screw a brazen thing onto here and then fit it and then it has to be in the right place and it won't necessarily be. So. I haven't gone through all that rigmarole. I've just gone with a single ring. I've got a SRAM Force one by chain set and I've put a 52 tooth Praxis ring on that that I had in the shed. Um, so that's giving me some big gears. Enough gears to still get up hills because I've got a 10 speed 11 to 32 cassette on the back. So I've got a 52 32, which is all right for most climbing. Um, the group set is Tiagra. So it's a new Tiagra 4700, 10 speed. Um, all the way through, I think. And then we've got some Altigra RS81 wheels that I had knocking around in the shed. Like I said, the wheel at the back, there's not a lot of room for a tire there, so I've got a Rubino 23 mil on the back, and then I've got an Ultra Sport, Continental Ultra Sport 25 on the front. Uh, an old Pro stem that was knocking around, some old zip bars, um, and saddle and seat post off a Genesis that's in the office waiting to be tested, but can't be now because it hasn't got a saddle and seat post. And then a Kinesis Athen seat clamp. Um, and that's it. Just waiting for a long drop break, gonna get one of those from Diacompe, and we're good to go. So I'm 25K into my first ride on this bike, and my first proper ride, I rode it up the hill last night. But um, how does it ride? Well, surprisingly, Against all the odds, it rides It rides just like a normal bike. I mean, it's really strange that um, it rides very similarly to, um, to a, an alloy road bike. I mean, this build that I've got here, the whole bike weighs in at about nine and a half kilos. So it's not really that heavy. I mean, the frame is 2.7 kilos. Some of the kit on here is pretty decent. The wheels are pretty decent, the stem and bar. So it's not it's not a super heavy build and you could probably get it down to you know under nine kilos if you if you put some slightly more expensive parts on it but it just rides like a normal road bike um, it's stiff it feels it tracks well it feels good it's quiet somehow I was expecting it to be a little bit kind of <laughs> creaky and wooden but it's just not like that at all it just feels like a normal bike and it's it's a really funny thing. There comes there comes a point. It's a little bit like when you get a new um, uh, bike rack for your car, and you put your bike on your car, and then you spend about the first ten minutes of your drive just like terrified that the bike's going to fall off. And then at some point, you just go, it's it's fine, and then you forget about it. And it's the same with riding this bike. For the first kind of first kind of ten miles or so, I was checking it all the time. I was looking at it. I was like feeling it kind of trying to think about whether it felt right or whether it was going to fall apart on me and then all of a sudden I just started riding it like a normal bike and you know it rides really well it's it's smooth and it's quick and I've really enjoyed riding it around the Mendips and uh, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy riding it home so uh, 
I'm fairly confident that I can race on it. <laughs> I'm not sure I can win anything on it, but then I never win anything on races anyway, so that's not a problem. Um, I'm going to take it up, probably up to Castle Coombe, which is a nice, uh, nice, easy race where you can kind of sit in the middle of the pack. So I'll probably do that on it and see how I get on. But that's the next step for me on this bike. Uh, I look forward to that. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure everyone else in the race does too. Um, if you've got any questions about this bike build or this bike kit, just ask them in the comments below. We'll get them answered for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this on Road CC. Cheers for watching.